August 1st, 2021, a day that will go down in athletics history. The first Olympic champion in the 100 meter of the post bold era was crowned. Unlike what most had anticipated, it was not an American who won. It was an Italian, Marcel Jacobs, who came out victorious, even surpassing the previous 100 meter winning time at the Olympics by Usain Bolt in 2016. This moment was an iconic one, ushering in a brand new champion from a nation not strange to sprinting success and had longed for someone to fill the void left after the Pietro Menea era ended in the 80s. Following his win at the Olympics, Marcel decided to take a break from competition and to get set for the following season, where he wanted to usher in a brand new era as the king of sprinting. The thought of him being this new man to usher in sprinting was a strong possibility because he had developed quite a cult fan base following his victory. And on top of that, his numbers were incredible because he even had a split of 8.91 in the 4x1 at the World Relays earlier that year, one of the fastest legs ever done in a relay. He started that journey quite well in 2022 as he became the world champion in the 60 meter, defeating Christian Coleman in a photo finish. His win ensured that he remained unbeaten in the 60 meter for the season, as well as end a six year unbeaten streak for Coleman in the 60 meter. Such a victory firmly placed him as the guy fans should look out for, the guy who will rule sprinting and lead it in a brand new era. Uh, that is, until a ghost of the past struck. Now, it was time to head outdoors after a successful indoor campaign, and the Olympic champion decided to open his campaign in his home country, which he won, not in a spectacular time, but a solid 10.04. However, after that, it was all downhill because right after that race, Marcel's injury issues resurfaced. This was the ghost of his past, because prior to 2019, Jacobs was a long jumper, quite a good one in fact. He broke his national under 20 record back in 2013 and managed to leap a mighty 8.48 meters back in 2016. However, Due to constant injury issues, specifically in the knee and muscles surrounding the knee, he had to make a painful decision and leave his first love, which was the long jump, and to move on to the 100 meter dash. Transitioning to the 100 meter, he knew the possibilities of injuries would remain high, but the nature of these issues could be better managed in the 100 meter than the long jump. Now that he was the Olympic champion and the world indoor champion, there was a lot at stake. So getting major injuries was one of his greatest fears. And as such, he was heavily cautious, leading him to pull out of the Prefontaine Classics 100 meter, where he was set to clash against Fred Curley in a rematch of the Olympic finals. After that, Jacobs remained inactive in competitions and only showed up at his national championship over a month later, before heading to the world championships in Oregon. During all that, Marcel was unhealthy, and after finishing second in the prelims, withdrew from the world championships. Even though the reason for withdrawing was injury, it still hurt his stock heavily and even his own cult following began losing faith in the legitimacy of his Olympic crown. And as soon as Fred Curley became the new world champion, his grip on the sprinting supremacy had loosened by a lot. Not even winning the European Championships later that year helped. In fact, it hurt him even more. Because he failed to show up at the big meets, this trend continued into 2023. Injuries continually affected the Italian, only allowing him to run a single 100 meter race so far this season, one in which he finished seventh. 
so now he has a lot of issues to fix. He has to reignite some sort of belief from the fans. And that begins by first defeating the constant injuries. This in itself is difficult. But even though many doubt his ability, from what he was able to do from his short stint on top, we can see that he is a very high caliber athlete. Just an extremely unlucky one. Because pulling away in the final stages, 9 